Hi all, welcome back to LimeTube and today I am going to talk to you about the total value of my NFT portfolio for the 1st of November. If you enjoy my videos, please could you leave a like, comment and subscribe as it really motivates me to create more content for you. I currently have 99 subscribers and my goal is a thousand. So I'm almost 10% of the way there and I'm really reaching out to those of you who are returning viewers if you do enjoy my videos, please could you subscribe as it costs nothing to do so and helps me a massive amount. And for those of you who are new to my channel, if you enjoy the videos, please could you also subscribe and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much and let's get back into the video. If you look back at my videos, I created a October portfolio reveal and I plan to do this every month so over time we can see how my portfolio fluctuates in price and how it increases over time or decreases over time. Since filming in October, I have a total of 11 new NFTs included in my portfolio. I'll start from the top and work my way down. First of all is Raccoon Mafia, my first NFT. The floor price was 0.03 last month. It is currently at 0.005 Ethereum. So a sixth of the previous value, 0.005 Ethereum. And they recently had a Bore Mafia NFT free to mint for Raccoon Mafia owners. And only about 10 owners actually minted it. This is not good signs for the Raccoon Mafia project. And they need to do something soon to avoid this becoming a dead project. Moving on to characters for game. This was a free to mint and a punt that I took. The price last month was 0.005 Ethereum. This month it is still 0.005 Ethereum. So no changes there. I don't know if this will take off. The founders seem to be prioritizing other NFTs. So most likely it will either stay at this price or go to zero. And there's a small chance that it could take off. Uh, very unlikely though. Dorf Altworld, this was also a free to mint for myself and the current floor price for Dorf Altworld is 0.01 Ethereum which is down from last month almost 50% of the price. As you can see this month is following a very red month in NFTs we're currently in a bear market for NFTs and with the price of crypto being at all time highs, it is putting others off entering the NFT market. Crypto Dads was 1.25 Ethereum last month and since then they have also released Crypto Mums which was a free to mint for all Crypto Dad holders. It is one of the NFTs which I procured as well and I'll discuss Crypto Mums when I get to it. But the current floor price for Crypto Dads is 0.36 Ethereum, which is the same price as what I originally bought my Crypto Dad at. So almost a 75% drop in the price of Crypto Dads. However, they also announced that they will be doing a monthly giveaway of one Ethereum at the start of every month up until the value of their Raptor giveaway, which they're no longer doing. And to be eligible, you have to have your dad delisted. So hopefully that will continue pushing the price back up. Dapper Dinos, the price of Dapper Dinos last month was 0.344 Ethereum. It was doing very well. The current price is 0.159 Ethereum, which is just over half the price it was last month. If I filter by buy now, there is only one at 0.159 Ethereum and then it goes to 0.17 Ethereum. Dapper Dinos recently announced the launch of Fossil and an update to it, such that to be eligible for the Fossil token bonus, you have to have your Dapper Dino either delisted or above one Ethereum. This is another tactic they're using to bring up the floor price as well. I still have faith in both Crypto Dads and Dapp Dinos to do well and continue rising back up. Being in a bear market, everything's dropped in value. Not many have managed to maintain their all-time highs or carry on increasing in price. 
Dapper Dinos did also have the Halloween collection airdrop to some lucky holders and also a prize for those who collected the free Dapper Dinos spooky Halloween set. And that brought in some value to those who were lucky enough to be airdropped one of them dinos. Street dogs I haven't been following too much lately. The price last month was 0.09 Ethereum and the price right now is 0.021 Ethereum. So this has also dropped by around 75% and they probably need to do something soon to help lift that floor price up. They also are doing the challenger giveaway later on this month. So it'll be good to see if the price increases closer to the challenger giveaway. However, normally after giveaways, the price does tend to drop back down again. These were all the NFTs that I owned before the 1st of October. Moving on to the ones that I've got in the last month. The first one is the free Pixel Dino from the Dapper Dinos. This was airdropped to every owner of a dino. It is currently worth 0.0067 Ethereum. So for a free NFT, I'm happy with any kind of value. The next item I purchased were Crypto Rangers. They are now been renamed to DeFi Rangers. These were 0.08 Ethereum to mint. Unfortunately, they didn't do so well with the minting and only minted 1,902, I believe, NFTs. I haven't been able to work out why they didn't do as well as expected. I like the artwork and I thought they had a good community and I thought there was quite a bit of hype around them. So a little bit disappointed that they haven't done as well as expected. However, they do have a lot of stuff in the pipeline with version 2, version 3 and megas coming out soon. The current floor price of DeFi Rangers is 0.025 Ethereum. It is a thin floor with after 7 being sold it will double in price to 0.05 Ethereum. So 0.025 Ethereum. So like I say, a bit disappointed that it didn't do as well as they hoped. Um, I'm guessing they're disappointed too, but onwards and upwards. Hopefully it will be able to take off once they release version 2. Moving on to Dwarf Girls. This was also another free mint by being a holder of Dwarf Alt World as well. One thing I'm starting to realise is that just because it's free to mint doesn't mean it's worth minting. So the floor price of this is currently 0.001 Ethereum, which is less than 10% of the value that I paid to mint it. This really does highlight to me that I need to stop minting free to mint stuff if I don't perceive it to have any value. Right now, it doesn't even make sense to list anything with a really low floor price as it will probably cost me more to list than the cost of the total sale. Moving on to Ethereum Towers, a great project that I 100% believe in. I've made quite a few videos over the last month about Ethereum Towers. This was a free to mint and ignoring what I just said about free to mints, this is one that I do believe in and do see there being value in. In the long term as well. So the current floor price of Ethereum Towers is 0.369 Ethereum. 0.369 Ethereum. So for a free to mint NFT this is doing very well. It is currently my most expensive NFT and all I had to pay was gas fees. I really do believe that in the long term Ethereum Towers will be successful. And if you want to know why, just watch any of my videos I have on Ethereum Towers. Moving on to Crypto Month, this was a, another free to mint, and to be eligible, you had to be a Crypto Dad holder. The three projects that I believe in the most out of all my NFTs are Ethereum Towers, Dapper Dinos, and the Crypto Dads. So the Crypto Mums is something has been part of Crypto Dads I do see a lot of value in. And also you need to own a Crypto Dad and a Crypto Mum to be eligible for a Crypto Top in the future. Or I believe you can have two Crypto Mums or two Crypto Dads as well. So I could see the floor price of the Crypto Mum slowly rising for those who want to mint a Crypto Top in the future. The current floor price, as I just refreshed, is 0.09 Ethereum. It's been fluctuating around 0 0.1, 0 0.11, 
Ethereum over the last couple of hours as well. So I can see it changing a fair bit. And the final NFTs I minted were Bad Grandma. The reason why I minted Bad Grandma was they were launching on Immutable X, which is known as a gas free marketplace. And if you look at the price I paid in transaction fees, it is minuscule compared to the other transaction fees I have been paying for. Bad Grandma did do a Lambo giveaway, I believe, two days ago. And normally after a giveaway, the floor price drops. The winner of the Lambo giveaway actually opted for 55 Ethereum instead, which is an amazing amount of money for that winner. Congrats to them. Grandma is also releasing Bad Grandpa in about a week's time. And I believe it's either free to mint or will be airdropped to bad grandma holders and either way if I have to pay for the mint it'll be really cheap in terms of gas fees compared to some of my other mints if you look here I paid about $60 per dwarf girl in gas and transaction fees and with both my bad grandmas together I paid I paid a total of $14.50 so about $7.25 each so when it comes to bad grandpa, paying $7 for an NFT is much more reasonable than paying $60 for an NFT. The current floor price of bad grandma is 0.045 Ethereum. 0.045 Ethereum. That brings us to a total of 1.9357 Ethereum and 70% of that value is 1.355 Ethereum. So last month my portfolio value was about 3.25 Ethereum and it's currently at 1.94 Ethereum and I have got an additional 11 NFTs since last month. That shows you one of two things. The state of the NFT market right now is horrible. It is a bloodbath and there's a super bad bear market going on where everything's dropping in value. Or I'm really bad at picking NFTs. Only time will tell which one is the case. I've also added a sold list which actually only includes the free 0.25 Ethereum I was given as I didn't want to calculate 70% of funds that I have already received. So in total, I have spent 1.65 Ethereum and the current value is 1.605 Ethereum. So I'm currently down about 0.0449 Ethereum. However, on a positive note, because of the price of Ethereum and the time I purchased my NFTs, I am actually up in fiat at about £135, which isn't a lot at all considering I was up about £3,000 last month. It's crazy to see how much the portfolio value has dropped this last month. However, I'm not too worried. I believe that the good solid projects will pick up back up and I believe I do have a couple of them. With some of my other projects, I do see them drop into about zero Ethereum and the project dying out. I hope it's not the case, but unfortunately, that's the way it seems to be heading right now. If the teams of them projects cannot find a way to bring the value back up, they're sadly going to leave the project and the project will just die out. I create these portfolio videos to be as transparent as possible and show you how much money I am making or losing over time. Hopefully in a few months time, my portfolio value will be a lot more positive than it is currently. But this will show and document my journey of how the price fluctuates of my portfolio. I do hope you enjoyed this video and I do hope your portfolio is doing better than mine. Let me know if any of your NFTs have actually risen over the last month and if so what they are. As always if you enjoy my videos please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I really do appreciate anyone who's subscribed already and hopefully catch you in the next one. I'm almost 10% of my goal to 1000 subscribers and hopefully by watching this video you'll subscribe too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.